Your son chose his side, and he chose poorly, and now he's gone. Such is the way of war. The sooner you accept his loss, the better. Oh. I will never accept his death. My son still lives. I feel it in my heart. They say that he was killed, but I know better. I know my son is alive. Those battle borns, they're in with the Imperials. They know it too, and yet they lie to my very face. How can you be sure your son is alive? I just... I just know it. I can feel it in my heart. Mm. You have to believe me. Please visit me at my home. I can tell you the whole story. I see. I spend a lot of time at the market stall you know so that? I can learn the Thank merchant's trade. Well, Thank I better go ask the Jarl to send reinforcements. You know, before the dragon destroys that town. I'm gonna pick some flowers from around the square. Hit by a dragon. I can't stop now. And I can't Brilliant, I can handle. So you're willing to starve your wife and daughter to reclaim some rusty old sword? I just need to hire one, maybe two good men. You won't starve. I'll put it plainly. You can claim your sword, or you can keep your wife. If you set foot outside that gate, I won't be here when you return. You tried mercenary work? It might suit you. Sometimes I miss the soldier's life, but when I hold my daughter in my arms, I know I made the right choice. What were you two arguing about, if you don't mind me asking outright? My sapphire doesn't like that I've been spending so much time looking for my father's old sword. He fed his entire family with the gold he made using that weapon. I'm not about to let it gather dust in some thief's trophy room. Do you need help finding the sword? I tracked it to a group of bandits nearby, but I'm no fool. I'd need the white run guards or maybe hire the companions to get it. I don't know why I'm saying this, but if you find it out in your travels, I'd be grateful to you. Hmm. I cannot afford training, but uh, you're not from Skyrim, are you? No, I'm not. Looks like we've got something in common then. No, I'm a Red Guard. My family hails from the Imperial Province. Ah, but I left home when I was just a lad. Been wandering ever since. Hmm. Fair enough. Wait, I. Oh. <laughs> you what? I'm still here. Hi there. You have come. You have come to hear the word of Talos. Er, what can you tell me about Talos? Hello, my friend. If you seek knowledge about mighty Talos, you have most certainly come to the right person. In mortal life, Talos was a Nord, possessed of unmatched tactical skill, limitless wisdom, and the power to see into men's hearts. Talos mastered the power of the voice, and with it he united the lands of men into a great empire. In southern lands, he was known by the name Tiber Septim. Here in Skyrim, we honor him by his proper Nord name. So great was his reign in life, when he ascended to the heavens, he was made Lord of the Divines. If you want to know more, I'm sure you can find any number of tomes on the subject. I think I saw one while I was running from a dragon. I know why it was outlawed. The very idea That'll make sense. Inconceivable. Oh my god. No. Our elven overlord. I need some more money. Until I become rich at some point. Which I recall happened in all the other playthroughs I did. Ah, dragon reach. And I plan to do a bit of thievery in this one. So in theory I should have even more money at some point. Ooh. Lofty. We cannot afford to act rashly in time, but my lord. Please, this is no time for rash uh, What's the meaning of this interruption? Jarl Balgruf is not receiving visitors. Who's this I have news from Helgen about the dragon attack. Well, that explains why the guards let you in. Come on then, the Jarl will want to speak to you personally. 
Word up, sister. I remove that tag from the actual screen. So you were at Helgen. You saw this dragon with your own eyes? The dragon destroyed Helgen, and last I saw it was heading this way. By Ismir, Irileth was right. What do you say now, Proventus? Shall we continue to trust in the strength of our walls against the dragon? My lord, we should send troops to Riverwood at once. It's in the most immediate danger. If that dragon is lurking in the mountains... The Jarl of Falkreath will view that as a provocation. He'll assume we're preparing to join Ulfric's side and attack him. We should Enough. not... I'll not stand idly by while a dragon burns my hold and slaughters my people. Irileth, send a detachment to Riverwood at once. Yes, my Jarl. If you'll excuse me, I'll return to my duties. That would be best. Well done. You sought me out on your own initiative. You've done Whiterun a service, and I won't forget it. <laughs> Take this as a small token of my esteem. There is another thing you could do for me. Suitable for someone of your particular talents, perhaps. Come, let's go find Faringar, my court wizard. He's been looking into a matter related to these dragons and rumors of dragons. Mm. So angry, Faringar, I think I've found someone who can help you with your dragon project. Go ahead and fill her in with all the details. So the Earl thinks you can be of use to me. Oh yes, he must be referring to my research into the dragons. Yes, I could use someone to fetch something for me. Well, when I say fetch, I really mean delve into a dangerous ruin in search of an ancient stone tablet that may or may not actually be there. Hmm. Sounds like my kind of caper. Uh... What does this have to do with dragons? Ah, no mere brute mercenary, but a thinker. Perhaps even a scholar? You see, when the stories of dragons began to circulate, many dismissed them as mere fantasies, rumors, impossibilities. One sure mark of a fool is to dismiss anything that falls outside his experience as being impossible. But I began to search for information about dragons. Where had they gone all those years ago? Where were they coming from? So what do you need me to do? I, uh, learned of a certain stone tablet said to be housed in Bleak Falls Barrow. A dragon stone said to contain a map of dragon burial sites. Go to Bleak Falls Barrow, find this tablet, no doubt interred in the main chamber, and bring it to me. Simplicity itself. Have you encountered any dragons? Sadly, no. My work affords me few opportunities for such an adventure. Perhaps some hero will bring one to Dragon's Reach, like old Olaf one I once did. What a fascinating conversation that would be. Are you the only wizard in Whiterun? I mean, the only other wizard in Whiterun? I believe I am, yes. Technically speaking, of course. The city is also home to a priest, a priestess, an alchemist, and I'm sure others who practice. Ah, that reminds me. Speaking of alchemists, I have some frost salts for Arcadia. She asked me to obtain them for one of her potions. Would you be so kind as to deliver the frost salts for me? I'm sure Arcadia will provide some form of recompense. Sure, I'll deliver the frost salts for you. It's kind of on the way. Good. You're clearly better suited than I am to carry out such a menial task. Oh. So what are the duties of a court wizard? I'll put it simply so you'll understand. I advise the Jarl in matters of magic. If the hold is faced with any threats or mysteries of a magical nature, I am called upon to explain things and suggest a course of action. Hopefully that answer will satisfy you. Good day. This is a priority oh. now. Anything we can use to fight this dragon, or dragons, we need it quickly, before it's too late. Of course, Jarl Balgruf. You seem to have found me an able assistant. I'm sure she will prove most useful. Succeed at this, and you'll be rewarded. White Run will be in your debt. Thanks. What you got in this room? Room? Oh, it's where you sleep. 
Fair enough. Oh, I thought you were already on your way to Bleak Vault Barrow. I am. Somebody wanted me to deliver something first. And I was snooping around. You know. I'm snooping. But yeah. It's gonna be my first playthrough where I actually go to the, uh, the college. The air is comfortable, yet I still see that cold mist in tired, me. Friend. The banned mayor has paid for me. I look tired. I'm hungry. I need to go and get some food before I head out. I'm drained. Does that mean I need to sleep? We got warm food, warm drinks, and warm beds. Well met, Traveler. We drink to our youth. Today's come and gone. But the age of aggression is just about done. We'll drive out the storm If it's work you need, how about chopping up some wood for the fires? What do you got for sale? Take a look. Need to eat something. Ooh, apple pie. Fatigue dream. Let me know. You know what's wrong with Skyrim these days? Everyone is obsessed with death. Oh. I will need a room. I ain't done nothing. What can I get you? Like a room? Sure thing. It's yours for a day. Heard any rumors lately? I assume you saw the Gildergreen? Big tree all burnt up in the middle of the wind district? It's part of the Temple of Kinareth. People want Tanika to do something about it, but I don't know what they expect. Hmm. Gildergreen, eh? Any other rumors? People say there is someone in Riften that can change your face, make you look completely different. Whoa. Do you believe that? Yeah, I guess so. You know where I could find some work? You mentioned woodcutting? Of course. It's all in this note. I'll show you to your room right this way. Blood in the water. That's the bounty, what does that say? Rumor has it that Forsworn raiding parties have been pushing further and further east along the Yerl Mountains. The arrival of Legate Bazendil has prevented further incursions, but they failed to apprehend their leader, Crow's Tooth. While well, Crow's Tooth has been separated from her forces, he is believed to have fled with considerable spoils. In an effort to put an end to this threat, anyone killing Crow's Tooth may claim her stolen loot. Mercenaries like infamous sellsword Jormund Windstrider have been seen heading into the mountains beyond Dark Lake Tower. While they could be after the treasure, it is feared Crow's Tooth is gathering these forces for a renewed assault. We ask any capable warriors for their aid in dealing with this potential threat. Enuriel. All right. To all capable warriors, a group of bandits have stolen something of great value to my family's kingdom, the Headman's Cleaver, and fled to Skyrim like cowards. Our sources tell us they're holed up in the Lost Knife hideout. The Queen will gladly bestow the cleaver to the one who vanquishes her oldest enemy. And then I will sell it if that happens to be me. Let Hang me on. know if there's anything else you need. I should go look at my room. Oh, it's this one up here. Oh, wow. Nice. Why are you in my room? Oh, there once was a hero named Ragnar the Red. Old friend. Riding to white Patron of the great clan Battleborn. A name the I'm sure you know well. As he told of both battles in uh, the he had sure. Made. What was that argument all about? Just one more thing the Grey Manes want to blame on others. It's not my fault they turned their backs on the Empire, or their mule of a son raised arms against it. And yet, they want to heap the fault on my family's good name? Ah. Tell me about Clan Battleborn. Battleborn is a name out of legend, sung in the songs of old and heard in deeds of valor for a hundred generations. 
For Clan Battleborn, they cry in the meat halls. First into the fray, and last to quit their ale. We've got honor, wealth, and titles too. Aye, and buxom women to warm your bed on a cold Skyrim night. Now if that don't answer your question, then no words will. A little light on the details, but I got the gist. Why the feud with Clan Greymane, though? Money, you laggard. What else? Oh. It always comes down to coin. The Greymanes have deep roots in Whiterun, but so do we. Difference is, we're rich. <laughs> and Vignar hates it. Oh, and they hate it, too. All their big talk of pride and honor. And what have they got to show for it? Beggars' rags and stale bread. We've got the same pride, the same honor, and we've got wealth. No wonder they envy us. Hmm. But what about Clan Greymane? How are their feet? Uncivilized pelt-wearing axe-draggers. It's a wonder they don't still live in a cave like those ancestors they keep boasting about. It's true, Vignar Greymane and his lot are one of Whiterun's oldest and... Depending on who you ask, most respected clans. I don't dispute that. But it's one thing to take pride in your lineage, and another to cling blindly to the past. What they call honor and tradition, I call ignorance. Hmm. Interesting. You watch yourself out there. Will do. Yes. Probably noticed I'm kind of conflicted about starting some thieving up in this thing, but uh, mm. I'll get to it. The security in Whiterun is terrible. Shameful is what it is. 